down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do Hello everyone, um, I know I've already filled you in, sorry about the mess, I'm just, you know um, and I've already filled you in about how poorly I've been feeling recently and just to add another fun factor to the mixture my feeding tube has just broken so normally where's it gone normally my feeding tube has this little white thing in it let me just come a bit closer normally my feeding tube has this little white thing in there and it's come out so I can't run any extra water, I can't run my feeds, I can't do anything because it's broken and I've already said to you that I'm needing extra water at the minute because I've been sick so much this week so this is really not good timing. The next thing issue that we've got is that it's weekend and no one works on the weekend in my tube team so I'm actually just packing a hospital bag because I'm going to have to go to um, urgent care or A&E, casualty or whatever <laughs> you guys call it. Um, and I've got a feeling they're going to keep me in on a drip which is the last thing I want to do right now with Covid but I don't feel like I've got any other choice so I'm just literally packing my bag now I'm going to be completely honest with you I've not stayed overnight in a hospital in such a long time and I can't go life for me even think what I need but I'm just taking my pump just in case they don't have one so they don't need to run around finding one um, I've got my pyjamas got my chewy pads, hairbrush, um, like I said I've got my pump, got my toothbrush which is there, extension set, charger, headphones, laptop, just, just packed loads of random stuff just in case they keep me in I'd rather be prepared than be literally there with nothing so I'm gonna get going now anyway I'll keep you up to date with what's going on and yeah speak to you soon. Look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you Brief little update, I've just come to the toilet to be sick <laughs> But basically they have no one at the hospital that can help me with my feeding tube However, looking at me, taking my stats and everything like that, I think I'm really, really dehydrated, which is what I said the other night. So they are thinking they're gonna have to keep me in for the night. Um, someone can probably change my tube tomorrow, but they'll probably have to IV everything tonight. But I think it's about a two hour wait. Um, and then I'll be able to update you on what's going on. Okay, everyone, update. So I've just seen the nurse and she's taken my bloods. Um, but she's left a cannula in because she thinks they're gonna have to keep me in because she said that my stats aren't very good. I've not had a cannula in in literally so long and it's really hurting. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just waiting to see the doctor now and hopefully they'll either keep, like, just let me know if I need to stay in or just say come back in the morning to change my tube because um, they've confirmed that someone can change it tomorrow. It's definitely not going to be tonight. So I've been here for five hours now. Um, a few of my bloods are low but not dangerously low, so I'm just having some normal medication via an IV. Then they're gonna send me home for the night and then. Morning, everyone. Um, I say morning, it's actually 15.03 in the afternoon. <laughs> so last night, obviously you knew that I went to hospital. Um, the main reason for me going to hospital was to see if um, they could change my tube because obviously I needed to be on my fluids and things like that. Um, they didn't end up being able to change my tube because there was no one available to do it as I thought there wouldn't be So I have now got an out of hours number that I have to ring today for someone to change my tube Which um, is organised for someone to do at about four o'clock today um, But yeah while I was in there they managed to give me my normal meds via IV which is why they put the cannula in My buds came back okay they said that um, my potassium was a lot not low but it wasn't on the higher end of it but they said that there's nothing that they're too concerned about so 
Um, they've actually rescheduled for me to have another blood test done during the week just to make sure it is still okay. But yeah, at least I didn't have to stay in. I was very worried about COVID, but yeah, I'm very tired today, mainly because they give me cyclozine through my IV last night and oh my God, if I think my cyclozine affects me when I have it via my tube, having it through an IV is a completely separate thing. Within minutes of them doing it, I was like this. Oh, it's just a horrible feeling, but I know for a fact I need my anti-sickness because if I don't have my anti-sickness, I get 10 times worse. And if I didn't have my anti-sickness, then I'd have been sick a lot more and I couldn't replace my body with the right fluids and nutrition like I do normally with my feeding tube. So yeah, I'm, f I'm feeling a bit more alive now. I've literally just woken up and that is purely for the fact that I had that medication last night. I know for a fact it is. Um, my tube's doing okay. Obviously, it's still broken, but... So I can't go any fluids or anything like that, which I know for a fact I'm going to be feeling later. But yeah, let's just hope they can change my tube soon and everything can go back to normal. And my arm is hurting as well. I'm like cannula they put in. Whoever put it in was a bit rough, I'm not going to lie. So it's a bit sore. But yeah, so I'll catch up with you when I go back to the hospital later on and get my tube done. Okay, so I've literally just spoke to the nutrition team now. They've told me to come to hospital now. There's someone waiting for me. Just, I've just quickly got changed. I'm not clean my tube or anything yet because I've literally just woke up. But I just thought I'd show you. I didn't sleep with the tube pan on last night because I had my cycle and I just fell straight asleep. I didn't anything like that. So I just thought I'd show you the reason why I have to wear tube pads at night. <laughs> Can you see what a mess it is today because I didn't wear one? Like, all of that is literally just absolute leakage. Like, it's gone all that down there, all there. Like, it's really a mess. I need to clean that quickly before that turns into an infection. But I thought I'd show you because that's why I have to sleep in them. It's an absolute mess. Actually, let me just see if it's on the bed. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, it is. <laughs> brilliant. I'm going to have to change that now later as well. With your colors, they kind of tell me what I'm thinking. I fell in love with the way we are and the way we live. Hey everyone, I have just got home now, so they changed my tube for me. Um, however, one of the things that they couldn't do was give it an x ray to find out if it was in the right place or not, which they often have to do with the J tube because it was the out of hour service and they couldn't get me an x ray in time before they went home. So I have to go back again tomorrow. It can't speak i have to go back tomorrow in the morning that's what i meant to say not to morning um so yeah it's all changed now i'll just give you a look i actually really like getting my tube changed for the simple fact that it always looks like brand new and shiny so you can see it's oh so you can see it's like all nice and new um obviously don't have the gems on it like i normally do but yeah, so that's all done now. I got home, um, fell asleep straight away because I think I was still coming off my cyclozine. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling much better now. I feel a bit more awake and hopefully tomorrow I can go get my x-ray. It will be in the right place, it always is, but they just have to double check because it goes to my bowel. So yeah, nightmare's over a little bit. Hopefully it can actually officially be over tomorrow, but I'm glad it's been changed now. The nurse that was in today was one of my favourite nurses, Karen. She's literally so gentle and she's so lovely, so I'm really glad she was in today. Um, so I had a little bit of a catch up when she did the tube change and yeah it didn't really hurt today. Skin around it is still a bit sore but nothing too bad so I'm just keeping these gauze around it which I could probably do to change them now because it is leaking a little bit and if you can see that yellow on it. Um, but yeah, feeling still quite tired so I'll probably catch up with you tomorrow. I think I need a really early night tonight. Um, just kind of like get my head back in gear and things but one of the things that I feel absolutely awful for was last night when I was in A&E James was in the car the whole time because of the whole Covid situation he literally can't come inside and as much as I said is he alright to come inside they said no I'm really sorry so he was in the car for six hours just waiting for me I felt so bad I kept messaging him was like if you, you know if you want to go like it's fine like you know or whatever but he would just not no, no no it's not your fault don't worry it's fine so he stayed and waited for six hours in the car God, he's such a good boyfriend. So, yeah, at least that's over. I just need to get my x-ray done tomorrow and then everything will be fine. Hello, everybody. So, round three of my hospital days today. So, Saturday was spent in A&E. 
yesterday was spent with the tube nurse getting my tube change and today i have to go, to go back and get it x-rayed so i can't even remember for the life of me if i've already told you this but when you have your j tube put in they have to put some like dye in it to make sure it's in the right place and because it was out of hours yesterday they couldn't do that so having to go back again today to get that sorted i am shattered like honestly i am absolutely knackered i basically haven't had any food or drink since saturday um i know they gave me some fluids on saturday night but that just doesn't feel like enough and i just feel like drained and just absolutely disgusting i do not look healthy um but yeah I'm, the weird thing is you know i don't even feel like hungry and that's really strange i do feel very thirsty i can tell i've not been on my fluids and i just feel very just drained and minging and yeah so i'm just waiting for james and then we're gonna set off but yeah it's just been a crazy few days i can't wait to, for it to be over today and it'll all be done so i brought my extension set with me just in case i didn't have one and i brought my syringe with me as well i um, just in case i get to x-ray and they say oh we don't have any so so no, that's happened before so yeah i probably won't be able to film in x-ray to be honest with you i don't ever think are oh, you not even allowed phones in there are you so i can't imagine them being allowed to film but yeah i'll probably catch up with you as soon as i've had it done and let you know how it's gone there's something different about us and the reason why we stay, stay. hi everybody <laughs> i'm back home now thank god <sighs> what even have these past few days been like i'm not even joking I'm just trying to attach my tube so I am I'm back home now finally so I got my tube x-rayed everything was fine as per what I thought it would be so like I showed you I think yesterday I have a lovely nice new tube now I'm a bit red I've got a few stickers attached to me but it's just a bit sore like attaching my extension set because oh done it um obviously when my tubes change it just hurts a little bit just for a day or so but then it's fine but so yeah just to sum up kind of what happened as you already know so probably some watching this video you know that my tube broke and it was a time where i really needed to have extra fluids as well because i'd been really really poorly and then they kept me in for a bit on saturday no one could change my tubes and i had to go back the next day um someone changed my tube then but then i couldn't get it x-rayed so then i had to go back today and now it's been done so i can officially use my tube again now because all yesterday even after i got my tube changed i couldn't use my tube all day reason for that being was because it wasn't confirmed that it was in the right place and obviously if i was to put stuff down it's quite dangerous if it's not in the right place but i don't think i've ever actually had it placed and it's never been in the right place but my tube nurse just said you really can't use it so i've been without fluid water and meds since basically halfway through so well i had my meds some a bit on a drip on saturday and i had some meds through iv on saturday all yesterday i went without um any anything at all and then half day sunday uh, half day today as well because i only actually got the tube x-rayed at about two o'clock so yeah i'm just putting my meds in and it just feels so nice to be able to do it but honestly i'm feeling so much better now i think it's been very overwhelming like especially going into hospital with covid and you know i've just been so poorly this past couple of weeks and just this happened at like the worst possible time like i always think when everything's going bad you just think you need a bit of a break but then something else just goes wrong and you're just like oh but anyway i have washed my hair which is why it looks really frizzy um james helped me wash my hair so i'm feeling a lot better i've had a shower and tubes all done i'm feeling a little bit gross just because um when they often put the contrast i'm saying contrast they put the contrast like down the j-tube sometimes i can actually taste it in my mouth it's like an irony metallic taste it's really weird but yeah apart from that i'm feeling fine so i'm very positive that tomorrow i will wake up feeling fine gonna go on my fluids overnight tonight so hopefully that goes okay my tube won't break again <laughs> But I mean, I'm sure it won't. I mean, the, the way it broke out of the however many years I've had this, that has never happened. So I don't know. Um, just to point out as well, my tube nurse did say to me, you know, that white thing, you can pop it back in and put your extension on it. But I tried to do that and it didn't work. It was just popping out. So it literally didn't work at all. Um, but yeah, this is just kind of going to be a short and sweet vlog, just explaining what happened over the weekend 
all the updates I could possibly have given you. Um, so I'm probably going to close it off now as soon as the nightmare is over. Uh, if you've got this far, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to anyone who has messaged me. Honestly, it's meant a lot, especially when you're just feeling so down and just feeling like ugh, the world's out to get you. It just, I just appreciate it so much. Like any just a, si a single message just it really means so much thank you so much to everyone that did message me um and i really hope you're all doing okay you had a much nicer weekend than i did <laughs> even if we are in lockdown at least you might not have ended up in hospital um but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope that you are all doing okay and my next vlog nothing will hopefully go wrong and we can have a good catch-up and more positive catch-up then thank you so much bye we fly around like paper planes They never know where we will fall Nobody can see us Still they wanna tear us apart There's something different about the way we are